Questions for coach? Start with John Corrales. Hey Brad, a couple things. Um, first, is the team still on schedule to travel to Philly for this game? And secondly, how did Kemba's knee respond after the first game? Uh, yes, we are on schedule to travel and responded great. Practice today full. Mark Murphy. Hi, Brad. Uh, is there Mark. any word on Jason and Robert? And Robert, Robert practiced today. He'll travel with us. Um, I don't know if there's another step that he needs to make to be okay to play, um, but I would say he's likely to play. Um, Carson and Jason will not be traveling. Your own Weitzman. Hey, Brad, um, it's a little different, but just with Jalen this year in terms of his hot start, one of the um, biggest differences with him has been the mid-range shot shooting from there. So I know statistically, or people say sometimes that's a uh, quote unquote bad shot, but sometimes it seems too simplistic. So I was just curious how you as a coach approach that when you have a player who is shooting the way Jalen is from there, do you consider those good shots? Do you discourage them or try to nudge him towards three or the rim? I guess, do you view the shootings unsustainable? I guess, what's your approach in that situation to that stuff? Every defense is trying to take away layups and threes. So when your best players get an opportunity to pull up into a rhythm pull up, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, and I think that obviously, you know, he's able to lift up and jump up over guys and not be affected by some of those challenges. So listen, there's, you know, everybody wants layups and threes. It's not always feasible in each moment of every game. Um, and so again, you know, when you've got guys like, you know, that are really good at, at coming to a stop on a dime, raising up and shooting those, then I think as long as you don't, you know, decide to shoot them every time down the floor, then those are things that we feel good about. Chris Ryan. Hey, Brad, uh, just your general sense as to where you know, the group is at at this point in time and how, what have you thought from what you've seen from uh, the Sixers so far this year? Yeah, I think we, I mean, we talked about it the other day, Chris, I don't, I think we're okay. You know, I, you know, I've been around a lot of good teams here. Um, you know, some teams that, you know, went far in the playoffs. And I think, um, I think we're okay. Like, I think we've got a lot of, a lot of uh, room to grow and get better. And I think we're fortunate to be where we are from the standpoint of our record. Can we be better? Yes, I think so. Um, and we just have to keep working towards that. I'm encouraged by the fact that we have, um, are getting contributions from a number of people. Although I think that obviously we'll be searching for consistency in that. With the Sixers, Sixers are a really good team. Um, they have been for the last few years. Um, obviously, Embiid and Simmons are special. We've surrounded those guys with really good players. The guards are playing great. Maxie and Milton are um, having a great year. Tobias Harris is a really good player, obviously. Um, and on down the line. So they've got a, they've got a really nice team. And um, you know, not a surprise they've started the way they've started. Bobby Manning. Hey, Brad. How would you like to see Kemba fit within the offense right now as he's trying to get comfortable, but also playing along some other guys that are rolling. And uh, what's the uh, kind of process like the last few days as you see uh, the 76ers get their game postponed and then, you know, you guys are kind of in a flux there, you know, are you traveling? Are you not? Yeah. I mean, we were never, we, we never felt like this game was in flux. It sounded like that was a, um, you know, a testing issue. Um, and so we always felt like we were going to play this game. That was never, you know, right from the get go, that was what was communicated to us from, you know, from at least communicated to me via our front office. So um, I haven't thought twice about that. As far as Kimba, we've all got to make the game easier for Kimba. It's, it's, it's not, you know, Kimba is not the, the kind of guy that, that comes to the pack. We got to all come to him, you know, and I think that that's, you know, we've got some, some really good players and some guys that are going to get plenty of opportunities, but, you know, um, as far as like Kimba using possessions, those type of things, we need him to. Like if we're going to be a good team, 
and we want to compete with the teams that are the best in the league. Like we don't have a shot if Kimball Walker isn't, um, if, if we don't, you know, let him be him. And I think that that's really important. And that's the great thing about Kimba is when he comes back, he's going to be, you know, everything that he's always been. And he's a great encourager of everyone else to continue doing what they're doing. Final question for coach Tom Westerholm. Hey, Brad, I just wanted to clarify on Tatum. Do you know yet if there's a possibility that he travels for Friday or is he, or do you know if he's off the trip totally at this point? To be determined. Okay. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, coach. Thank you.